the strongest asset in day trading that you have is your mind. It's not your lagging indicators. It's not necessarily your system. It is your mind. So we're going to talk about four things that affects your mind that will affect your trades. Let's get right to it. The first thing that traders should be aware of that's going to affect the trades that you take. It's going to be your childhood or your upbringing. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard someone talk about this in this way. But the way you were raised, things that happened in your childhood absolutely will affect how you view the market and the decisions that you make. This is primarily why every single Monday inside of our Discord, we go over something called the Mindset Mondays. And in the Mindset Mondays, it's a mental development audio training series that we do live with the traders with tips, tricks, and exercises to help you overcome the mental side of trading. Trust me, I've been there. That's how I can speak intelligently to it. Your upbringing absolutely matters, folks. What, how you were raised, someone in your childhood told you, I don't know, you can't be successful. Someone developed fear in you. Uh, somewhere it, along the way, someone told you that risk was bad. Uh, which is why you keep, you know, jumping in and out of your trades a million times a day and you're not letting your winners run and your your losers outweigh your winners. That's coming down to your mindset. You can have a winning system, but it's coming down to mindset. Now, what's going to magnify that and make it even worse is a failed system. So, you know, I don't use Mac. I don't use uh, any type of uh, lagging indicators like Mac DRSI, all that stuff. Right. I don't use supply and demand. I don't use, you know, any of that kind of stuff. So that's going to make it even worse. But at the very core, we need to understand, you need to understand that your mind is driving your trades, how you feel about the market, how you feel about trading, and it's going to be governed by your upbringing or your childhood. Number two, the second thing that's going to affect your trades in the mind is your view of money. Money is emotional, the having it and the not having it. How do you view money? Here are some questions to ask yourself. Am I in a rush to make money? Do I feel like money will solve all my problems? Do I want a lot of money? These are three questions that you really need to be real with yourself and answer. They're going to govern your trades, period. And if you don't think that they're going to govern your trades, all you have to do is do a quick Google search. Uh, you can go read any book on trading and trading psychology from some of the best. They'll all agree with my statements here. The difference is I've not only been able to experience this, I've been able to overcome it. And that's why I can teach it and help you guys. The third thing, the third thing mentally that's going to affect you is going to be poverty or success. What was your background? Do you come from a state of poverty? You didn't have much. Lights out, heat out, no food, whatever the case is. Many have. Many have. Nothing wrong with that. Many have. That can be a, a wonderful uh, fuel source or steam source to push your engine. Or maybe you, you didn't really want for anything. Maybe your parents were above middle class or middle class or they had something and you come from a position of success. Either way... In addition to your upbringing, you do have to get to the root cause of what happened there and how you feel about these two items. Why? Because one or the other, they can foster fear and greed. Here's what we mean. A person that comes from poverty oftentimes is greedy. They don't know what it's like to have, so they, they want to go after it relentlessly. And they want more, and they want more, and they want more. Also, a person that uh, comes from poverty sometimes can have fear of losing what they have and it can be so strong it demonstrates itself in trades and that is the kind of person who keeps entering and exiting every trade. Has it ever happened to you? You get into a trade, you're looking for a breakout and then the trade breaks out and as soon as you see a little bit of a pullback, you're out only for the trade to continue to rip maybe 50 and 60 percent more. What, what scared you? What made you nervous about exiting this trade when you knew that the trade deep down inside had a potential to go on? It's because of your background. It's because of your mind. It's because of something inside of you is fearful and or greedy, right? A person that comes from a successful background may have a problem with hoarding, may have a problem with, you know what? I want more. And they, 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 they demonstrate the type of behavior where they cannot cut their losers because they always think deep down inside, I'm going to make it back. I'm going to make it back. I can get it. I can get it back. And that 
will demonstrate itself in fear and greed. Now, either way, both of these, they, they demonstrate themselves in cycles. So a person that's uh, coming from a poverty background will have to fight against fear, then greed or greed, then fear. And then the same with a successful person. The fourth thing that you're going to have to overcome, that you're going to have to come to grips with and understand that this will affect your trade. It's a condition of the mind. It's going to be your accomplishments. Most people, most retail traders who are in the market now, most of them, not all, but most have not accomplished any of their major goals or anything noteworthy in their lives. That's a tough pill to swallow. Most of them, most people, when they come into the market, this is the most lucrative opportunity they've ever seen. And for that matter, everyone that trades in financial markets, be it stock or currency, that is the, 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 the most lucrative environment they've ever, they've ever experienced. But some of them have experienced other lucrative opportunities. And furthermore, they've been successful at them. They've accomplished them. They've accomplished something noteworthy. Now, why does this point here, accomplishments, matter? It's because when you have some accomplishments, some successes in life prior to coming into the market, then you have gotten a taste of what it feels like to work hard, to endure, to persevere, to struggle. You know that it takes time to build something great. And you understand that it's going to take you some time to build your skills. However, what I have found is those who haven't had any accomplishments in life, they think they're going to make a million dollars in a year. In fact, you hear some YouTubers and other retail traders from a very uh, dilatory standpoint say that it only takes a year, doesn't take long, or this is simple. All you got to do is nothing. Nothing could be further from the truth. I've been asked to recap just a few things to watch out for in the mind to help traders get to the next level. These are four things I have had to work on in my life. Uh, throughout my life, I did reach some success in life in tech and in real estate prior to coming into the market. However, I still will say the market is unlike any other animal and beast. It is complicated and you need to identify what's at the root cause. The root cause of your trades is your mind. It's the strongest muscle you have. There's four things that can dominate your trades. Number one, your upbringing and childhood, how you were raised will come out. Number two, your view of money, how you feel about money. Are you in a rush to make money? Number three, did you come from a background of poverty or success? This will dictate which cycle you hit first and how long you stay in that cycle, fear or greed. And then number four, your accomplishments. Do you understand what it takes to be successful? Now, it's just us kicking it. You and I, that's the only people that's here right now. You know deep down inside whether or not you've really reached a level of success and you know whether or not you understand what it takes to be successful in life. So do yourself a favor. There is a Discord out there, the Wealth Wells. The link will be down below. Come into the tier three right here. You'll click this link. You'll join tier three. I'll take you that link right there. You'll, you'll get inside of a private channel where you have deeper access, where I'm trading live with traders all the time. But every Monday, right around noon, we do a Mindset Mondays discussion and training on how to improve these elements of your trade. I don't just train traders on how to read volume, volatility, and price action. I give you real life experience. We talk with real successful traders and we help you with the mental side of the, of the trading and to get to the next level. This has been a short discussion on trading psychology, how your mind affects your trades. The mind is the strongest muscle you have. If you don't work it, you will never get better in this game. KD for the Wealth Wells, signing out.